and we're live. Yeah, fair live. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 I um I don't know. Like I said, I, online shopping is a bit of a problem. Um, like like I, I I didn't know what to do with the boxes for a while. I had this mountain of boxes in my dining room. Mm. Just throw them away. Like, it, what are you gonna fold each one of them up and put it in a, put it in a garbage bag? No, you just pile them all outside, and then the garbage man throws them away. Do you think they'll? I don't know if they'll do that. Like I don't know if my they wouldn't do that here. Do that. They, they do it here. My garbage man won't do that. I take I take I'm, duct yeah. tape. And I don't want to break it all down. So if I have a ton of boxes, like when I order workout equipment, I'll just throw all the boxes in there and then do like three wraps around of duct tape to be like, all right, this is, this is solid enough that he can just grab it, throw it in the back, and he's not dealing with a bunch of boxes. And it's not going to You gonna got good away. garbage, man. You do. Very good. You got good garbage, man. Like, I, I don't know if my guy will do that. Because they, they would never do that for me. Yeah, my guy shows up at like 5 a.m. So I can't really <clears throat> have a conversation with him anyway. So I just burn them. I've got a like um, a thing in my backyard. It's not a burn pit like uh, like Woody has. That would be ideal. But it's um, I don't know. This is what it, I call it, a patch of concrete. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's this elevated steel box that has okay. like a, a cover on it to keep ashes from flying everywhere, and uh, it'll eat up a, a month's worth of cardboard boxes in about fifteen minutes. So a month really of your that. use. Because that's a yeah. tremendous amount of boxes. Oh, I, it's, I, I have a real bonfire out there. I usually do it late at night because I don't think I'm supposed to be burning things in my neighborhood. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I go out there at like 3 in the morning and have a nice little bonfire once a month. About a month I ago, got a good, I, got a good box I was move. burning boxes. And uh, I, I had this idea that I could <laughs> multitask, you know, like, oh, I'll set a big fire and then leave it unattended and get other things done. I set the yard on fire. Our yard is like <laughs> how much of the yard? Short, dry grass, and um, <laughs> I was trying to fix my motorcycle in the stable. It wasn't running at the time, and uh, I hear Jackie screaming like, "I can't find the hose! It won't turn <laughs> on!" And I'm like, "What? What is happening out there? Right? Like, is there a gardening emergency?" And uh, I go outside. <laughs> It is way past stomping out phase. It is like uh, uh, a 600, no, uh, a 2,000 square foot fire, maybe. How many cars? <laughs> How many cars big? Bug How many cars big? That would be dozens of cars. 25, yeah. what, what 30 cars big. Like, 30 yeah. cars big? Like the, 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 yeah, that, that, that sounds like a lot. But it was, shit. it was like... Like a big chunk of the backyard. And, it's like uh, Far Cry 3 when you burn bushes and it catches fire it everywhere all around you. It's yeah. not happening. So uh, Jackie, at this point, had already had the hose and started to put it on the bib. We have the problem with the hose bib, guys, we're going right now, where it, like you almost need a tool to undo it, right? It, you have to screw it so tight to make it not leak that you use a tool for it. And then to get it, un to get it started again, same sort of thing. Not this day. This day, I just... just Whatever man force I had was what it took. I'm like, fucking fuck. I took like, the fucking yards on fire. I turn the thing on. I put out the fire, which takes a while. Colin is adding more tension to the environment, just like screaming and observing fire. And that's not helping at all. But uh, it turned out when you put out the area, it sort of stayed out. So I just worked my way around, got the edges, controlled it. And, um, but yeah, was now it it's pretty green. Yard? Was it like it's, in the middle of your yard or was it approaching your neighbors or approaching the road or kind it, of isolated? It was, so it wasn't a super windy day. It was approaching the pool and the kitchen and then also out into a, a field with much taller grass. Like we have a little part of the yard I don't mow. So it has like five foot tall dry grass. And I really didn't want that to catch on fire, but it wasn't super close either. What if you would have done nothing? Would it have burned all the way to that really tall grass and caused yes. an enormous Yeah, if I had there? done nothing... It, it would have been acres and acres of fire. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did it, so what actually started it? Do you know? Oh, oily Probably the, the boxes I was burning. <laughs> That's my <laughs> number one cannon. It was uh, the boxes would burn. And then uh, like, you know how like the it, paper gets so light, it just catches yeah. in the own thermal and lands perhaps in the dry grass would have been a good idea to attend it. But I was, uh, I'm so fucking fixated on this motorcycle thing that I can't, do anything without being uh, distracted by it. Yeah. I, I know, got a good I move for boxes, by the way. Go on. Like a legit move that very low uh, danger. If you, if you trust your community, um, I just go on Facebook marketplace 
And I'm like boxes and a person literally comes. People love boxes. People always need boxes. Hmm. So like when you got a lot of boxes, I mean, if they're functional workout equipment, I don't know if you got like a weird long skinny box or something. No, these but if you got like boxes, boxes. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these yeah, ones. But are I had like... people, people, people will pick shit up. If you have things you want to get rid of, sometimes just going on Facebook and be like, yeah, get it out of here. Like people will come. 